What's going on everybody? It's me, the original gamer Stevie Stroh, and I'm back here with you with another exciting cartridge game for the Radio Shack TRS-80 color computer, also known as a Coco. This particular game is called Slay the Nereus by Spectral Associates, licensed to Tandy Corporation, copyright 1982, and it's asking me what is my name. Now this game was basically a clone of a very popular game by Atari called Centipede, however we got to change things up so we don't get sued so rather than it being a centipede you are somehow dealing with an underwater sea monster let's go ahead and again let's aim low and choose the easiest of difficulty levels and let's see what the game is like okay looks a lot like centipede now spectral associates the same company that made a game called microbes which was a clone of asteroids another popular atari game this is using a lot of the same sound effects i recognize so the shooting sounds and the exploding sounds sound just like asteroids. But what they've done here is they've added a simulated water uh, effect to the top. So it looks like the waves of the ocean are um, flowing up there. And it's looking like I'm shooting these uh, some type of underwater creatures. I don't know what these creatures are. It's called the Nereus. What is the Nereus? I don't know. It's Maybe it's a sea monster. Maybe it's a sea serpent, a sea dragon. I don't know. But it's basically, it's a ripoff of Centipede because it's a long strand of things that break into smaller things. Okay, I just got hit. All right, and that was the end of the level. What Centipede did is every time you ended a level, it changed the color of the field to give you the uh, impression that something in the game had changed. And, and the uh, arcade and on the Atari systems that had many more colors, those color patterns would change dramatically and very dynamically. And it was a feast for the eyes. On some of the lower end computer systems that only had four colors and didn't have a large palette of colors to choose from, it was basically a creative recycling of the four available colors in different formats. But it was nowhere near as um, eye-popping and as uh, spectacular with the depth of colors that, that these other systems could choose from, but it still did its job. So we're basically moving left to right, up and down. You can't move too high. You've got a limited height, just like in Centipede, that you can move to. That little thing that just got me in the game Centipede, that was a spider, and he made a noise in the arcade. That's a little snake or a little worm or something, huh? In the arcade, the spider was like, like he made noise when he was out on the screen. Um, but yes, yeah, so what happened in Centipede, like in here, if you shoot the sections, they become separate sections or, or separate heads. They can become this little individual heads, and they'll basically move from side to side, and they're eventually going to make their way all the way down to the screen and try and get you. Your job is to avoid everything that moves and kill all the pieces of the centipede, or in this case, the Nereus. And so far, so good. I'm doing that. Every now and then, you would have these falling objects that you would shoot for points every now and then something would crawl across the screen for extra points um, this little sea urchin looking thing is is basically what the spider was in centipede so i'm just shooting my way through this stuff and that's actually not a bad game it's a playable game it plays just like centipede plays so it's not um, it's not a disappointment when it comes to the actual um, play factor it, it's, it plays like the original it's not uh, a weak uh, rendition. It's a pretty accurate um, rendition, and it's and it's kind of fun. It's just it's it was so interesting that this happened all the time that they could not make the real game. So you know, Atari was not going to let their titles be released on a different computer because Atari made their own computer. So if we wanted a game that was similar to a game that Atari made, well, some other company made that game, and they changed the name and they changed a few things, uh, uh, you know, to avoid the lawsuit. But it was basically, you knew what it was. You knew what they were doing. But this was very common. This was a popular thing. All the home computers did this. Only a few computer systems got officially licensed titles that were the real name and close to the real game. Atari was one of them. Apple got them sometimes. Commodore got them sometimes. But it, pretty much if you didn't have like an Atari 800 system or an Atari, um, you know, other systems like that, you did not get the AAA titles with the real names that were endorsed by the arcade companies. You got a homemade knockoff 
that some other company made like this. So I just died. So there you have it, folks. That was Slay the Nereus from 1982 by Spectral Associates. This was released through Tandy. This was a cartridge you could buy in any of your local neighborhood Radio Shack stores. I think their cartridges ran around 30 bucks at the time. And this was one of the ones you could have got. And this was a pretty decent one. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing it. I enjoyed showing it to you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for this video. Throw me a comment. Tell me what you thought. Share this video with your friends. I will see you all next time. Peace out, everybody.